think everyone wants gigabit internet, but do you really need it? Google Fiber has been rolling out into cities all across America, and wherever they do, the internet companies and competitors always pretty much raise up the maximum bandwidth cap to match Google Fiber and try to compete with it. We know that these companies can provide gigabit internet, but most of the time they just don't and argue that people don't need it. According to Ookla, the company that runs speedtest.net, the average American download speed is 37 megabits per second, and the worldwide average is 24.3. Now this is actually higher than I expected. The upload speeds are lower. The USA is 11.9 up, and average for the world is 11.2. And at this point, I just want to clarify that one megabit per second is not the same as one megabyte per second. There are eight megabits per second in one megabyte per second, and that's because there are eight bits in a byte. So to download a one megabyte file on a one megabit connection would take eight seconds. Now that aside, do you really need a whole gigabit? That's crazy fast. But maybe not in this day and age. Don't believe me? Well, I will give it to you that there are a lot of people who definitely don't need it. If you're just using the internet for emails and websites and stuff like that, yeah, a gigabit's gonna be overkill for you. But people are using more and more data these days, even for uploads. There are a lot of online backup sites that'll back up your whole hard drive. That's gonna be tough on an 11 megabit up connection. Photos and videos, for example, are getting bigger and bigger every day and take longer to upload and download. And if you download a lot of games, then you probably know they take a long time. And if you have a capped internet connection, you might not be able to download big games at all. And you might say, well, I don't download that much. That might be true, but when that big file comes around that you need to download, you don't want to be sitting around for hours waiting for it. And I think that's the main benefit for gigabit internet. It's not for day-to-day -day use, it's for when you want to download that big giant thing and don't want to wait. Take for example Grand Theft Auto V, which was released in the last year, at 65 gigabytes if you were to download it for PC. At the average US speed of 37 megabits per second, that would take four hours about. And that's assuming you get the maximum speed the whole time, and we know how often you get that. Also keep in mind that that's the average, so half the people are slower than that. Now, if you were on a gigabit connection, on the other hand, those 65 gigabytes would only take 8 minutes and 40 seconds to download. That's probably faster than driving to the store and back and buying it. And let's do a bigger example. Say you want to back up your entire hard drive onto an online service. It's not that unrealistic to think that you might want to back up a terabyte of data in the next few years. At 15 megabits per second up, which is generous compared to the average, it would take over 5 days to upload that hard drive. Again, that's assuming that you're at the max speed the whole time and you'd have to leave your computer on all day, all night. On a gigabit though, that upload would only take 2 hours and 13 minutes. Now those are just examples of uploading and downloading big files, but what about video streaming? I mean, it's becoming incredibly popular, especially with Netflix, understandably, it's just so easy to stream the video. Online video is just going to increase more in quality, higher bit rates, and that's going to mean that as time goes on, there's going to be higher demand for bigger bandwidths. In the next few years, if you want to be streaming Blu-ray quality video, don't expect to do it on anything less than a gigabit. So considering all that, going back to the question, do you really need gigabit internet? Probably not today. However, in a couple years, you're probably going to need it to access the highest quality tier of certain services like Netflix. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck with mediocre quality and painful loading times as websites start to assume that people have these higher internet connections. Game downloads will reach 100 gigabytes probably sooner than you think. And 4K streaming, well, it's already here, just the bit rate's low, but if they bump up that bit rate, you're going to need a faster internet connection. And at some point in the future, if you're stuck at a low internet speed, you might not be able to use some services at all. So I guess that's the end of my part of the discussion. I'm going to turn it over to you guys. Leave a comment. I want to hear what you guys think about gigabit internet. Would you instantly buy it if it was available? I mean, most of the time, Google Fiber is cheaper than even the slower connections that you might be paying for now. And maybe, I don't know, you definitely don't need gigabit at all. Who knows? Let us know. If you guys thought this was a good discussion, you can go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you like. You can also subscribe if you're interested. I'm going to be trying to put out more videos a week, at least two videos a week, maybe even three. So it's definitely worth it to subscribe. And if you want to check out some other videos, those will be on the right-hand side if you're interested. So as usual, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Have a good one.